Well, they are trying to static fire the Starship with 33 engines today. Most of you, I'm sure that means nothing to. But to the prophets who wrote the scriptures, it means a lot. And I can't help you understand that any more than the prophets can with what they wrote. When Enoch wrote that he saw men riding in chariots up in the sky, and it was the noise from their chariots that moved the foundations of the earth out of their place and shook the heavens and made them shake and quake, and all the angels were nervous and, and disquieted. I can't explain what Enoch is talking about. Only Enoch can explain that, which he does, does very clearly in chapter 57 of First Enoch. When Zechariah was shown the curse that goes forth over the face of the whole earth, the angel that showed him that asked him what he saw, and he said he saw a flying scroll or flying roll. And he even gave the size. And the angel said, this is the curse that goes forth over the face of the whole earth. And ultimately ends up destroying people's houses. And uh, destruction comes. I can't help you understand what Zechariah saw. Only Zechariah can do that. When John in Revelation said that he saw a beast coming up out of the earth. And then it came back down from heaven, making fire come down from heaven. I can't explain to you what John saw. Only John can explain to you what he saw. The point of this is that we live in a time now where these things very well have manifested before our eyes, during our lives. And the reason why John and Enoch and Zechariah and Daniel and so many more were shown these very flying machines and shown that they were building a deceptive uh, kingdom that would not last. I hope you don't have your sights set on that kingdom because there's a, there's a God that created you that has a kingdom that's coming here and it's going to destroy all those other kingdoms. Prepare for that. This this starship they're launching is the largest. Uh, you know the SLS rocket that just launched? That, that orange and white um, rocket that NASA launched for... Uh, it's the largest rocket that NASA ever launched. Um, at, at launch, when it, when it first launches, it has a, a million pounds of thrust. And it, and it, in the first few seconds of launch, it goes from a million pounds of thrust up to 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust. Okay? That's a lot. And that's the largest rocket that's ever flown. Well, this Starship, just so you know, this Starship is 17 million pounds of thrust. It's, it's twice as big as the largest rocket that's ever launched. Now, I wouldn't think that's a big deal, except that there's four angels, this is in Revelation, there's four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth. And these four winds are special winds. Um, it's given to those angels, that when they let go of those winds, it's given to those angels to hurt the earth and cause destruction. So why would it be important? Why would Enoch be talking about rockets? Why would he be talking about flying machines that men are riding on that are so loud that they shook the heavens? Keep in mind those four angels holding back those four winds from hurting the earth. Is it men who destroy the earth? It is. Because, like I was saying, the ma your maker, Jesus Christ, has a kingdom that's going to crush all these other kingdoms. 
And he's cut also coming from the sky. Do you believe in heaven or do you believe in space? Careful what you believe, especially today.